Here we are at the new flower farm here, Woodenville, Washington. Uh, we're going to have lavender fields out there. The lavender's planted. You can see it coming up. Uh, and uh, be several different colors. Lavender, purple, white, red. Maybe some variations on that a little bit. And then we'll have some other uh, cut flowers out there. Dahlias and snapdragons and numerous other ones. It's just a planting we did here this spring at the farm. Looking pretty good. Mount Rainier views you can't see this morning but are just down that direction. Got plenty of parking here. We're uh, across the valley just a few hundred yards from the main Woodenville wine district and across the street uh, is a huge winery and right next door to us over here you can't see it is the San Michel winery behind these trees uh, it's, uh, reportedly going up for sale uh, there's a 173 acres or something like that and it's a beautiful winery Actually, it's the largest uh, wine company in the state. So, be interesting to see what happens with that property. There's the plantings near the entrance. We'll have a flower stand over here near the entry gate. And we've got new uh crosswalks and walking railroad grades been renovated over here just beyond these rocks and new cross crosswalk across the main street here a lot of people walk around here uh, take shuttle buses and whatnot for the uh, wine tasting tours and, and wine tasting in general so this is the new railroad grade uh, that was actually about 140 years old now, but uh, made into a walking and bike path here. Crosses over there. And uh, they got it all set up here with signage and it's kind of a cool trail actually. I've been out before they took the railroad ties out last year. And this was just finished here in the last uh, few weeks. Be really cool. We're going to connect up basically off this over to the winery next door. Uh, some, they're punching a dead end road through there. 